low, like hard, and I hit the ground, it's like running, and I'm like done. Um, about six years ago, I went on the, no, seven years ago, I went on the best date of my life. Somebody, I was waiting tables, and he was coming all the time, and he was like, let me take you out, let me take you out. And I was like, no, I'm playing hard to get, and whatever. And then finally, I was like, he's like, let me take you to the symphony. I have tickets, season tickets to the symphony. I'll take you to the symphony. No pressure, it'll just be really fun. Hot, hot guy. I'm like, okay, let's do this. So he comes, he picks me up. Um, takes me over to the Symphony in Limo. We went to, well actually it may have even been longer because it was a now defunct restaurant that was like amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, Venezuelan accent, amazing guy. And we go, we eat empanadas, he's an immigration lawyer, so he like knows everybody in the kitchen and is like... <laughs> loving this. So we like, we run into the Kimmel Center like just in time to catch the symphony and you know, um, I think I think earlier in the week he had taken me for a hike and like kissed me in front of the um, it, at, at the Valley Green and everything. So we're like really romantic. So I'm just thinking this, like my friend is like, you're going to get married, we're going to do this, I'm going to be your, your best woman, whatever. So this is how long it, I'm so not married that I call it a best woman. I don't think that's the term. Um, <laughs> so um, we get to the end of the night, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Like, I'm getting married. And <laughs> we're sitting in his car, and he's like, so I would invite you back to my place, but. And he's like, but I have this ex-girlfriend who lives in my building, and um, you know she's like really kind of crazy. She's on Prozac, and I don't like, I, I don't want to bring you back because it's like all this drama. But like, I'm like, okay, he told me, he put it out there, right? So finally, we start. To, we date, we're dating for a couple weeks. I go to spend the night at his house for the first time, and. We're, we're like first time night we slept together, whatever. Is everybody here? Everybody here's in the boat, right? So, <laughs> great sex, whatever. And I, he's, I he like wake up in his bed and, at like 3 30 in the morning because he nudges me and he's like, um, I kind of, I feel really bad, but. <laughs> to go for a run with her in the morning and I really just I feel really bad because like she's really delicate right now and she's on Prozac and so and I'm like well I'm on like antidepressants too <laughs> So, moral of the story is, 
I think I'm not, I, I really fall for Latin guys, but it always <laughs> seems to turn out this way. I swear, I'm not, but I still love you, Latin guys. <laughs>